Hello everyone, this is Storm Productions 2 and I'll be teaching you how to effectively shine off your Beyblades metal fusion wheel. First, of course, you would need a Beyblade right here. And you would need a fixer tool to unscrew the Beyblade. One more component you'll need. This is called a steel wool. I put scrubbing off stuff, things like that. Steel wool. You need this. Well, it actually was bigger, but I did this a lot, so it started like breaking off. And the last thing I use is this glass cleaner. I only use this glass cleaner because it really, really helps out. Alright, now let me show you what it should look like when you take apart your Beyblade. If you're trying to clean more than one part and that part has a sticker on it, I wouldn't use the steel wool at all. I wouldn't clean it at all if I were you guys. But if it has no sticker on it, it should be completely clear off. And you need your steel wool glass cleaner right now. After using your fixer tool to take it all apart. Now, if you don't need your fixer tool, then you're good. You're going to need to do this by sink, so that's why I'm going to do it by the kitchen sink. You need to turn on the water on hot. Okay? If the water's not on hot, well, I don't know what would happen, but I always use mine on hot. Wet the metal fusion well, really. You need to do that. Wet the steel wool so then it will work off better. Take the glass clean, or it could be the soap kind, it could be the spray kind, as long as it works. You need to spray up the steel wool as much as possible so you can get it a good clean and spray up the metal fusion wheel. If you guys can see what I'm doing, great. If you can't, I'll adjust the camera in a second. Alright, let me adjust the camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Alright, let me spray up the steel wool and metal future wool some more. Alright. Now basically after that you wait it one more time and you just start scrubbing it. If this works a lot for me because it shines off a lot. But if you have a really small steel wool, it might not, as in which I have right now, so it's gonna take a while. You're gonna need a lot more scrubs that you usually do. So like, this is what I will do every single time before I start a battle. I mean like, go to a tournament or something like that. If you guys live in America, then hopefully you guys have been on Beyblade Battles. They're telling you about tournaments going on, the big ones, WBBA is probably gonna be involved. The one I want to go to is the one at Javits Center. So if you guys go there, I, I want to see a video on that. I just need to see it. I heard Javits Center was big. So hopefully it is. Alright. You want to clean off the metal fusion wheel side more than anything else. Because honestly, it won't work. Oh, yeah, you also need regular soap after that. So, I'm going to use this soap right here, whatever is in here. Hopefully, it's soap. And spray it on the metal. Put some on the metal feature wheel. Not a whole lot. Just want to keep on scrubbing it. This might take a while if you don't have the dark metal feature wheel because for me, it's the most. It's the easiest to start metal fusion wheel because you can get everything done correctly. Alright, you want to get the bottom sides, the upper sides, just mostly you want to get the sides. This, the middle will stay clean unless your injury is smaller, like way, way smaller than it's supposed to. Alright, now after done rubbing it, my little what? You can wipe off your hands or whatever. Take one of these. If most kitchens have these. If not, then just wet it off the regular way. 
I usually use this so that I can get all the little parts I can without my hand blocking it. After a while it will get hot because you need it on the first on the furthest part of the pot. You can get it. And once you're done cleaning it, once you're done cleaning it, you need to let your bay blade like hold off in a towel. But this is what the metal fusion wheel should look like. Should be shiny as heck. So like if you want things done quicker, just dry it off in the towel. Like this, just wrap it up in the towel. Unwrap it or let it fall out. Do it again. So it could just dry off quicker. All right, and then you want to reassemble your Beyblade. As in my case, my Beyblade is Dark Wolf SW 145 WD. All right, and basically, this is what it should look like should be shiny, shiny, shiny. Alright, thanks you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my videos. Have a nice day.